morning and welcome to Prime of Midlife. This morning I am starting with dehydrating mushrooms in a coffee grinder. Um, I did used to use my mum's old food processor but you can't get seals for it anymore so that's a bit of a problem. So Kathleen got me this coffee grinder thing um, because she had some deal on some card or something. So we're going to see how we get on making mushrooms into powder with this. So we're going to start with the ones from the coffee jar. I'm just going to put a few in to see how it goes. I'll not overload it too much for the first go. Now it says put them in and then hit the on off button. Does anyone know where the on off button is? Well that's not very good is it? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I think it's the thing on the lid. Okay, so. We put the lid on. We switch it on at the main so we'd be sensible. Oh, that looks quite good. Can we see that? We'll just bring that. Over there a wee bit. Okay, it's getting a bit late. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. And we have mushroom powder. Now, what I want to do with that is... Get my little funnel. Okay, it is. As you can hear, that's the basket above the cooker. So we'll get my funnel and we'll just pop this in there. And we'll do it again. I think I may have squished these a bit tight. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking this is rather easy. You know, I'm going to just pop the lid on. Press the button a few times. And then when there's not like any big bits. Oh, this is fabulous. We have more mushroom powder. So okay, we'll just pop it in the jar. So, if you were thinking, how do I make mushroom powder? This, I don't know what Kathleen paid for it, but I know that she got it on a, a really good deal because of some card loyalty thing that she had. Um, and she had heard me speaking about getting a coffee grinder for making powders because I couldn't use the food processor anymore. Um, so, yeah, that might be worth a look. So we'll just squish them down a bit more and see if they still work as good when they're a bit more of them. And that's when the pulsing makes a difference because rather than the blades spinning under a lot of stuff, you just do it in little bits and then it breaks down a bit. And then you can do it a bit longer. And again, beautiful mushroom powder. So that is what I am doing for the next while. As you can see, I have to do it in short bursts because it's a coffee grinder that doesn't take that much at a time. Um, but yeah, that'll be, mushrooms will be getting powdered for a while. Catch you later.